Hey guys, so now that we have the hair down, the indentation is finished, we're just going to erase the pencil. So I already started doing it. So I just to, I just like to erase around the spots. You don't have to completely erase the lines. It, it doesn't have to look completely white. As long as you erase some of them, most of them, most of the pencil. and then that will be it so I want you I want you I want to explain something black hair is the black hairs any black hair and any animal stripes spots whatever it may be it's just a continuation of the same hair except that it's a different color so for example like these this, these black hairs it's just a continuation of this layer going across except except for this part the hair is black but the, there's still black layers uh, layers of black hair so one layer would be here the next layer it will be here and then the black hair would, black hair would start and it would overlap the hair below it same here light hair black hair and so on so like spots and stripes are not completely black they're like they're it's hair except that it's a different color okay with that let's start adding pencil to the, to the spots and for that I use this this is like the best thing to cover large areas this is called a, a graphite stick and the company that makes it is called Lyra L Y R A and it's called Lyra water soluble graphite stick this is a 6b and the reason I like it is because it's it goes down so easily and it has it's got a waxy consistency so it sticks to the paper really nicely and it's really really dark so here I'm just gonna go around the edges of the of the stripe of the spot sorry And you can you can begin to see the the indentations. See this side. These hairs, these lighter hairs, are overlapping the the black hairs. So we want to catch those the tips. show you see these these white these white lines right here see these white lines those are going to be the white the lighter hairs from the from this from this layer of hair. See, they they're overlapping the the black hairs. And these these are going to be the highlights uh, from the black hair. So right now they're white, but once we blend them in, they're gonna blend in nicely, and we'll, you'll be able to see what I what I've been talking about. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with the other the other spot. I'm just going over on the edge, 
around the edges just outlining the, the spot see along here because this top there is overlapping the black hair so I just, I'm just gonna bring out the tips same thing down here and I'll just cover the rest here okay we're done with that and we'll do the other one here but you can see how dark it is how dark this pencil is And then in the uh, in the end, we're gonna add the individual black black hairs, which are gonna overlap these hairs. So they're gonna come off, come off from here, and they're gonna overlap these ones. And then we'll do the last one here. Again, like I said, like black spots are not just black shapes, it's not like just a black circle. It's actual hair. And adding these details makes a huge difference. It makes a makes a drawing more, much more realistic. So I'm really not concerned about the top. I just want to show you guys the So now we can blend in the, the pencil. You can use this Q-tip or that towel that I showed you. But for this, I'm just going to use a Q-tip. So I'm just going to darken the the hairs inside the, the spot. I'm not going to darken these ones because those are supposed to be white so I'll just darken these and then after I'll go I'll go back in and and darken the darken the tips the ends even even more and we could even add layers to these black hairs which I'll show you I'll show you how Okay, so then this one. See, I don't know, I don't know if you can see it, but you can already see a layer here. So this would be a layer of black hair, and this down here would be another layer of black hair. So then I would like come in and then darken these ends. Same thing up here. If I want to darken them bit by bit, I use this pencil like two uh, H, and I can slowly darken the, the ends. See, by doing this, I just. You're giving the illusion that the hair is coming up from the coming up from the bottom, from here, from this bottom is coming up, and then the light is hitting it. And it's highlighting the black hairs, so that's why they look like that. Like if you wanted, you could have added. You could have like completely added hair here, and then darkened it like like we just did, instead of just random individual hairs.
I guess we'll, we'll duck into this last one here. Alright, now that we have that, we're going to go in and use the towel to bring out the, the remainder indentations, the remaining indentations. So basically we're using the pencil that's already done on the paper and we're just going to spread it around slowly, lightly. You gotta remember that the hair, the leopard, the hair on the leopard is kind of like an orange color, so it's not gonna be really, really dark. So we got we gotta remember that. So we can't darken them, darken it too much. Again, the reason we're doing this is just to bring out the indentation, so we can see them. You don't need a light anymore, the light that we have on the side, so we can see the indentation, so we can, can turn that off. And from this point on, all we're going to do is bring out the, is we're going to bring out the shadows. So we're gonna we're gonna define more of these 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 ends of the light hairs. So we're just gonna go along the edge. And just define the, the edges. By doing this we also separate the white hairs from the from the darker hairs. Same thing here. Just gonna go around the edges and just to find these these white hairs. See, we're gonna darken these ones. And then we'll just add a bit of shadow here under these hairs. And from this point on, like I said, we're, all we're doing is bringing out the layers, separating the layers that we added when we were indenting. Slowly, we're gonna start bringing out the shadows. This is a 6B pencil, and it helps if the tip is dull as it covers more area. 
So we're going to start here from the bottom. So I'm just going to go over the paper lightly, just to bring out some of the some of the shadows. See, by doing this, I'm bringing out the layers. This is a tedious process. Because once that's done, then we're going to come back in and erase the some of the pencil to bring out the clumps of hairs. See in the end, I call it clumping. Clumping, clumping basically means... Here, hold on. Let me show you. Let me see if you can see this up close. So you see these hairs here, you see this hair here, and this hair here. By erasing this black part here, you're bringing these two hairs together. So you're clumping them together, you're, basically that's all it means, you're, see I'm erasing that pencil there. See, and just like that you have a, like a clump of hair. See, and then we darken the around it to make it more even more significant, so you can see it more, and you can see it right here. So this right here, this would be like a clump of hair. So you're giving the illusion that the single hairs have grouped together, and it's making this this group of uh, this clump of hair basically but we'll do that at the end just wanted to explain that but now we're just bringing out the we're just looking for those uh, for those layers See, bit by bit. And this is just for like a small section. Can you imagine like for the larger drawings? But like I said, all this planning and process that are going into it, it, it it's all going to make, it's, got, it's all going to be worth it in the end. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep blending. As and as you keep adding more pencil, though these layers just keep become more evident. See right here, like right here. Darken this, this shadow here, and you can even see those individual hairs that I said uh, we we're gonna highlight it in the end. There's one here. I'll, I'll highlight it now so you could see. See how it's going across. See, like I would do that in the end. So I would highlight it, then I would darken the pencils, the uh, hairs around it, so it stands out more, and then I would darken the ends. 
and it just gives the illusion that it's coming out from the bottom it's coming out and it's overlapping all the all the other hairs below See, this becomes easier as you draw, as you draw more hair. The, the more you draw, the easier it's going to become for you to notice these, these shadows. See, like I mentioned before, this black hair is going to overlap this white hair. So, this side, it's going to be dark. It's going to have, it's going to have a shadow. So we can darken it. See the same here. This whole technique technique is all about layers. Like the, if you understand the layers, if you see the layers, and if you bring them out, it's gonna look nice. Again, don't feel discouraged if you don't get it the first time because that's probably something you guys have never tried or seen before. But like anything, if you practice it, I promise you're gonna get it. It also helps to to change the angle of the drawing. So turning it once in a while it helps you see things because eventually your eyes they adjust to whatever they're seeing. But if you change it around, your your eyes have to readjust, and you'll notice things that you didn't notice before. At, at least that's me. I don't know if anyone anyone else is like that. See, just changing the angle. I just turned it upside down and I can see that it's more evident. See, just like just here. Like right here. It's a perfect example right here. See these hairs? See, just darkening the, the ends. See, it just gives the illusion that this hair right here is above these hairs. And this hair right here is coming from below, it's coming up. And like I said, as you do this more, you're going to be able to notice these things quicker and you'll know where to add the shadows. You'll be able to see which hairs are below and which are above. about pencil is that if you add too much you can always erase it and make them light make it lighter so don't worry about if it gets too dark see I'm just switching between dark the six the two H pencil and the 6B. 6B is darker, so I don't need to press too much for it to go down. But with a 2H, it's it's better to add to slowly darken the the area. So again, here's another indentation, single hair that we can highlight. I can see these you should be able to see them too but we'll highlight these at the end for now we'll just keep bringing out these uh, these layers okay we'll, we'll stop here and then we'll continue in the next video so again if you found this helpful please subscribe 
like, comment, and let me know what you guys think. See you later.